uh, back home with you, but uh, and it would be great uh, if you could let us know. If you could uh, fill in uh, the summary uh, that will be made by Gary Coitz, uh, our uh, Director for Economic Promotion at the Provincial Government of Gipuzkoa. Thank you. Uh, welcome. We're almost uh, finished. Before um, going, uh, before doing the summary as such, I would like to at least give you a few comments, uh, personal comments. I must confess that uh, I found uh, this summary particularly difficult. Let's hope I've done it right. Yesterday, we uh, tackled four different areas. First, there was a presentation by the Ziur Center in Gipuzkoa, Cybersecurity Center in Gipuzkoa, and we got to know the experience of the Basque Country Cybersecurity Center. Secondly, um, international experts' perspective. Thirdly, specialization, talent, training, and training systems. And last, but no, there was yesterday in the, in the last panel, there was a simulation of a cyber attack. And today we had two parts. First, this morning we had the presentation of four specific cases, real cases of customers and uh, industries and their experts. For us, it's very important to share real cases in Gipuzkoa. It was an interesting session. And after coffee, we um, listened to various speakers talking about cybersecurity, attacks, quality, regulations. So we had a sim the simulation of a real-time attack. More than 100 companies which are represented here, more than uh, 350 participants, more than 400 followers by streaming, 23 questions asked by the public, four questions uh, asked from the stage, a total of 150 answers that were given by the public and a very high number of um, quotations, uh, quotes in the media and social networks. This is the summary of Industry Sec 2018. Uh, in the next few days, we will po post on our website uh, the uh, um, uh, simulation uh, event. You, you'll be able to see that in the next few days. But beyond figures and numbers, I'd like to mention what are the basic uh, uh, areas covered by this conference. The fourth industrial revolution has increased the number of risks, threats, and uh, cyber uh, crimes. These risks and attacks are real, and they happen here and now. Secondly, in this context, it is essential to have the commitment and the leadership of companies and institutions in order to develop um, risk a reduction of strategies in our territory and in organization. We need to link cybersecurity not only with safety, with security, but with the intrinsic quality of products, processes, and services that our organizations provide. Thirdly, the um, challenge of digital security is so big that we need to invest many more resources. During the conference, People even quantified uh, the uh, type of investment that has to be made. It would be adequate to uh, spend 20% of um, investment uh, of in companies in cybersecurity. Fourthly, from the European perspective, various elements were underlined. The importance of PPPs, the need to develop an an integrated um, industry cybersecurity uh, strategy, including the perspective of prevention in all stages, pr protection, prevention, for, and response. The need to build robust systems for surveillance. We have to, to have a new R&D strategy, a specialized talent, and efficient innovation plans. Fifth, 
the greater needs of uh, cybersecurity in our companies. This means that there's relevant budgeting and uh, expenditure, but at the same time, it's, there is a great window of, of opportunity for developing new businesses. The business level for cybersecurity uh, uh, reaches uh, very high figures. Let's take advantage of our reality. Um, together, let's transform Gipuzkoa into a specialized hub for cybersecurity. Sixth, our ed ed educational system is adapting to the needs of companies in a permanent way. This has been done in Gipuzkoa through new uh, courses, high-performance uh, courses, um, vocational training, and even a university master, master's course organized by the University of Mondragon and the provincial government of Gipuzkoa. Fortunately, Gipuzkoa uh, has a pioneering initiatives from the private sector for the advanced training of professionals in the, the area of cybersecurity. The cyber range will be a reality soon enough. Seventh, talking about training, in the university people said, OK, we need to train professionals in connected, productive teams. But above all, we need people comma, that, who are responsible. Eighth, the revolution called 4.0. O is the information revolution. The digital assets are the most valuable assets of today's companies. We are in a cyber insecurity scenario. We compete against cyber attacks, cyber crime, and cyber terrorism. We are investing more than ever in security, but we've never been so insecure. We need expert professionals in cybersecurity, here figures are incredible, 1 million, 2 million, 3.5 million of experts that are, will be needed in cybersecurity in the world. Ninth, two fundamental pillars to work in the automation of prevention, to work on the uh, last generation training systems. Uh, ninth, in the new uh, digital ecosystem, the, uh, uh, the we need fastness. We need to be quick. We need to be um, have a fast response. We need to understand the um, f possible uh, future scenarios, today's and future scenarios. Tenth, we let's uh, occupy uh, with uh, cybersecurity uh, all our companies. They they can have their own resources in cybersecurity. We need to build a support ecosystem to offer uh, high-level services which are focused on the SMEs, which is, in fact, the heart of our um, business uh, grid in um, Gipuzkoa. The industry is vitally in our province. We will never uh, adapt to the new industry for 0 0.0 without a good a digital security. Security has to be integrated in all processes in production and manufacturing processes. Beyond these messages, uh, this conference has shown us the real cases, what, real cases in uh, providers, companies, customers, uh, many people working in cybersecurity in Gipuzkoa. We had the examples of Sercobat, Innobat, Ulma, Tenic Media, HPS Security, ArcelorMittal, and others. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. Thank you to all the people who've shared their real experiences on this stage, because we are aware that it's not uh, typical and it's not simple to be here. And we've uh, also had the opinions of uh, many participants with four important questions. Do you think that co here companies are really susceptible to suffer a, a cyber attack? 89% of the people who answered say, said yes, there's a risk, a high risk, in fact, that cyber attacks are there and we are sensitive. Only 11% think there's no relevant risk for companies. Second question. 
in your company, who deals with cybersecurity? 86% think uh, that all the people in the organization are involved in cybersecurity, and 14% say it's only the management's problem. Third question, to what extent your technical personnel in your organizations are, is able to face up with uh, safe cyber attacks? 77%, 77% of the answers showed that they're not ready, that my personnel are not, uh, is not ready. Only 22% of respondents think that their companies are well trained for these attacks. So these uh, are significant data. Fourth question. Companies in general don't really know what the, are the real implications of cybersecurity with regard to their mm, processes, products, and customers. 80% of the answers share this assertion. With all this, we wanted to remark the importance of cybersecurity in your industrial organizations. It's key for competitiveness in our uh, sector. And this is also affecting uh, all types of companies, all sectors. There's a great potential also here in Gipuzkoa. We have a value chain that is very important in uh, cybersecurity. CIUR, the Gipuzkoan Center for Industrial Cybersecurity, is coming to Gipuzkoa with two main goals. First, to reinforce the competitive uh, position of our uh, industry at international level uh, with the context of global competitive competitiveness and competition, and then to uh, encourage the uh, specialization of our uh, cybersecurity agents. In order to reach these goals, we count on you. We need you. We need you all, research centers, technology centers, uh, agents. Our strategy in cybersecurity is going to be developed with you. So cooperation is key to build the future. So we are at your service. SEER is there to help you. I wouldn't like to finish without con congratulating all the people who've made this possible. I'd like to congratulate everybody for the uh, setting up of CEO. I can't mention the hundreds of people uh, who were involved, but I would like to stress out the importance of uh, the companies involved. They, they had a fantastic role, especially those which work on cybersecurity, the uh, um, educational centers, universities, uh, research centers. And also the uh, City Council of San Sebastian, which is one of the founders of SEUR Center. A special thanks also to our colleagues, friends, and all the participants, those who pre uh, worked in the preparation of this conference. This is briefly the uh, summary of this two days conference. Uh, several minutes ago, mm, uh, I was told that we had thousands of impacts uh, in the social uh, media. So this is uh, this is our contribution. This is not the end. This is just the beginning of a full process. The in Industrial Cybersecurity Center, CIUR, will be launched in the second part of this year. The uh, provincial government of Gipuzkoa will set up a, pr a subsidy program and starting next month uh, for cybersecurity. So this is just the beginning of a, a new journey that we will do together. Thank you very much on my side before um, ending.
I'd like to say that um, yesterday, in fact, we were uh, very sad because John Lyons, Lyons's video didn't work. I'd like to know if it's possible to show the video. And we'd like to John to accompany me here, to come up here to, to the stage with me so that we can see the video. Okay. Is it possible? Thank you, Gary. Technology has already added so much to our everyday lives. We can connect with our friends and family, shop, and even work from home and on the move. Things that were unthinkable 10 years ago. In the next few years, things are going to change even more. We'll be able to connect with each other and technology like never before. Welcome to the year 2020, where the day is just about to begin. Meet Kineco. Wearing visual display glasses is now totally normal. Everybody Kineco's age is doing it. Her display interacts and targets her interests and needs. She can choose what she wants to see and what she doesn't. Kineco finds tools like this really convenient and useful. Now she's checking in with her granddad. Felix is 94, lives on his own, and is one of many people who now benefit from technology-assisted living. Kiniko can keep an eye on him without feeling like she's interfering. All sorts of medical information are readily available, including his location. Despite the clear benefits of using these technologies, Kiniko sometimes has concerns. What happens if someone hacks into her granddad's medical devices, or the big data centers, or her shopping list? Personalized advertising is another part of everyday life in 2020, one which Kiniko loves. She especially likes the fact that no one else sees what she's into. Sometimes, however, she wonders if she's missing out on trying new things, although she can still pop into an offline shop to have a look. Made it. There's no getting lost in 2020. Let's give Kiniko a little time to figure out what she wants. Even though she has a detailed shopping list on her display, you and I know that you don't always stick to your list. In 2020, there are also new ways of making money. Kiniko sells data about her interests, behavior, and even moods, which are then used to develop commercial products advertising. Not everyone feels comfortable about this. Since Kiniko had her bank account hacked a couple of years ago, she's become a lot more security savvy. She also pays a special company to protect her and her granddad from identity theft. Kiniko runs a business designing children's toys with a group of friends. They manage the whole business in the cloud. It's not full time, but these days that seems to be the trend. Kiniko is still hard at work, but this time she's on her barter network, where she and other users can trade their skills and knowledge. She's trading her guitar skills for technical help with her designs. Kiniko's been busy. Now all the data she generates is being used to create a match on the new dating service she signed up for. Kiniko's story is one of millions for 2020. Millions like yours and mine. How will you use technology in your everyday life and how will you stay safe doing it? It's totally up to you. much for that and um, it may be of interest to know that uh, we, we made that in 2012 uh, as a result of canvassing experts around the world um, to ask them what they felt the future of cybercrime might look like in 2020. So now that we're only two years away we can imagine how, how well we got it right or wrong but it was based on those scenarios. I wanted to leave you just with a few thoughts um, from my perspective in terms of the cybersecurity threat. And I do apologize for the microphone. I, I'm obviously, I haven't made good enough friends with the technical team. <laughs> so all companies are, are under threat. I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna shout at you, all right, is that okay? So, my, my main point of the news in terms of the threat from cybersecurity is that please, for the 11 or 12% of you who didn't feel it's maybe relevant, 
I can assure you that the cyber threat is relevant to all companies. If you're connected to the internet, if you're connected to the internet, it's relevant. So please do something about it. You've heard enough from some fantastic technical security companies here in Kaposkoa to be able to pick up the phone and get advice and help. And as Gary said, uh, and my congratulations to the provincial government of Kaposkoa for making this center available to you second part of the year. Please use it. They will be there to help you, to give you advice, uh, to make the industrial sector of Kukuzkoa really more secure so that you can sell more products around the world and in Spain too, of course. And finally, connecting academia and the technical security companies to help business become more secure is very much the theme of the center. So please use them and uh, my thanks to everyone involved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gure aldetik esandakoa, ziber segurtasuna, gipu... Cyber security is a, is a key word for the future